Hi, welcome to a Solid Edge ST10 video tutorial. I want to show you how to do the drawing of that connecting rod and how to make this broken view by adding break lines to the drawing. So let's have fun with Solid Edge. So let's make a new isometric draft over here and start the view wizard. Select the part and open it. I will get I will get this view and I need a projected one here. So it would be advisable to do the projected one later on because then you will get a broken view if this one is broken. So let's edit the properties of this one. I need to see only design body 4, so I will hide the other ones. And design body 4 should be with hidden edges and tangent edges visible. And OK, and update the view. Now in order to break it, Go here, right click and add break lines. Maybe here and there. Finish. And now I can do a projected view. In this case, it's a principal view. So go for principal view, select this one. And if you project it, you will get also a broken view and escape. Now let's add some dimensions. Okay. Let's move it a little bit down and zoom in. First I want to add center marks. Here's one. There's one. And this should be one. Okay. Also here for this one and for that one. Again here for this circle and that circle. Then go for smart dimensions. So that should be in this radius, this radius, there's another one, there is one, 40, this one should be 65, let's see if we can make that one, not quite, so it would be clever to change It like that. Change the precision and it's okay. Now I need one dimension from this circle to that circle. That would be 750. That dimension here. And of course this one. And that one. Same on the other side. Like this. So this should be radius, or you could go maybe for a diameter. Let's see. Is there a diameter somewhere here? And you could go for a 
horizontal one as well. I will go for this one. Then I need a tangent one. That's okay from this point over here. So that's 61, but I need this one. So let's try the other way around. Go from that one over here to that point. So you got the 61 from this one to that one like this and from the center to that tangent edge here. I think I got almost all of them. Yes. Yeah, that's okay. Switch over to this side. Go right there to this point. To that edge. And from this one to that center. And I think I've got all of these here, and then I will need one here. And let's try to add that diameter. And I want to go for prefix. Prefix should be here, I suppose, yes. And select the diameter sign and OK. Seems it was not selected. So let's select it and try once more. Go for the prefix diameter apply. Now it's there and confirm. Let's go to the second view. So that dimension here. That should not be the diameter, so I have to clear that one. Go for clear and OK. OK. Zoom in this one, that one, and this one, that one, and this should be diameter, and you could draw it like that, or let's go over here. Then I would need distance from this circle here. Over there. That's a seven. 50. Then let's go here. That distance 20 from this circle to that circle, that's 9. And from this circle to that circle, it's 56. should be our 15. Move over here. This one. That one. And just add the missing ones. So from this center to that center, 56, from this one to that one, 9, and 
from that line to this one it's 20 and I think I've got all the dimensions and I'm done so I hope you enjoyed this one if you did please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook Catherine page it would be very nice of you I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye